hello guys i'm back again with new video uh, so today's problem statement is uh, basically we want to access the s3 bucket from the private ec2 instance uh, through gateway endpoint so basically how to configure the gateway endpoint uh, to access s3 bucket uh, by default like if you have a public ec2 instance uh, can straight away uh, talk to your ec uh, talk to your s3 bucket through internet gateway uh, but if you have a private ect instance uh, since it is not attached to your um, internet gateway because it belongs to the private subnet and private subnet uh, doesn't have uh, usually they don't have any uh, route to the internet gateway so they cannot talk to your uh, s3 bucket so what is the way uh, if we have private EC2 instance and we want to access the S3 bucket from same region and from VPC, okay. Uh, before we jump to a gateway endpoint and how to configure it, uh, let's try to uh, do some brief overview about the gateway endpoint. Explain you what it is and what is the purpose because there is um, internet uh, interface endpoint also and what is the difference between them. So we'll just quickly look at the look at the AWS documentation. Okay, uh, basically gateway endpoint can be used with uh, two services. Uh, one is S3 and uh, uh, DynamoDB. And uh, let's take. Okay, there are. Um, Okay, basically you can access Amazon S3 from your from your VPC uh, using Gateway VPC endpoint. After you create Gateway VPC endpoint, uh, you, we have to add it as a target in our root table. Uh, in in basically from from a subnet uh, where where uh, from the subnet you want to access the S3 bucket. So in that subnet's route table, we have to add a route for the uh, Gateway endpoint. Okay. Uh, basically as i said like there are two types of uh, endpoints one is uh, gateway endpoint and the interface endpoint so okay you, it might come it uh, it might come in in the interview questions also like what is the difference between gateway endpoint and the interface endpoint when it comes to s3 okay basically both remains in aws network uh, but here gateway endpoint uses the s3 public ad uh, addresses whereas the interface uses the private ip address from the vpc uh, okay uh, because it attaches the um, network interface uh, when you create the interface endpoint okay and uh, basically it does not allow access from on premises okay this is the main difference i would believe like okay if uh, if interviewer uh, interview in the uh, if in the interview you get a question like uh, you want to access s3 bucket from on premises okay so straight away answer is interface endpoint because the gateway endpoint we cannot access it from the on premises or if we want to access the s3 bucket like cross region uh, then then again the answer is uh, interface endpoint because uh, gateway endpoint uh, do not work uh, from from another region or cross region okay gateway endpoint comes free whereas the interface comes as uh, the uh, build service okay and here are some diagrams also i had seen just a second yeah okay so if you are using an internet gateway uh, basically uh, yeah if you are using the internet gateway basically from the public subnet if you are trying to access the s3 bucket or dynamo db table this is the route like the public subnet will reach to your internet uh, gateway and from the internet gateway it will reach to your s3 bucket okay uh, but if you have the private subnet where we don't have the internet gateway uh, how we will route it to the uh, s3 bucket or the diamond db table so that is where the gateway endpoint comes in picture here you 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 this is the this is how the internet gateway is represented and you can see that is missing here because uh, we have got here the gateway endpoint and the private subnets are connecting to the gateway and basically in the route table of uh, these private subnets we have added a route for the gateway endpoint and from this gateway endpoint uh, we are trying to reach to the um, s3 bucket okay all right uh so so let's let's jump to the demo and I'll, I'll explain you how to configure the gateway endpoint for s3 and how uh, that is getting accessed and we'll try to access it from the public subnet and the private subnet okay so 
to save some time i have already got two instances uh, one is the private ec2 and then one is the public ec2 uh, basically I'll, I'll access this public or i'll consider this public ec2 as jump box and from the jump box or this uh, from this public ec2 i'll access the private uh, instance and uh, yes what else we have got uh, we have got one s3 bucket okay uh, just just a normal s3 bucket uh, where the public access is blocked okay okay let's let's jump to uh, i've already logged into my uh, public ec2 instance okay so if i do just exit and clear the screen okay it says 15 uh, this ip address is 172311573 1573 which is my uh, public uh, ec2 instance whereas my private ec2 instance ip ends with 4496 okay okay let's try to access it from the uh, public ec2 instance let's do s3 ls and as you can see i am able to access the s3 bucket but what if i try to get into my private instance and try to do same command uh, ideally we should receive some okay before that uh, if you are wondering how i am able to even access the uh, s3 bucket uh, here basically i have attached uh, one im role here okay and this im role has access given i have given the uh, s3 read access and i have attached that to the uh, both public and uh, private ec2 instance okay so I have attached to the public and i have attached it to the private also okay so when i do uh, pub, uh aws s3 ls from the public ec2 instance i am able to access the s3 bucket whereas if i try to ssh into my private ec2 instance okay which is which ends with 4496 let's get it to here and if i do aws s3 ls as you can see i am not getting any response because i am accessing the s3 bucket from private ec2 instance now uh, which doesn't have route to the internet gateway okay and this is what we want to resolve as a part of this uh, demo okay uh, let's close this connection okay what we need we need a gateway endpoint okay let's go to the vpc i mean vpc console click on endpoints create endpoint let's give it a name gateway s3 endpoint uh, okay you want to create it for the aws service uh, but what service you want to expose as part of uh, uh, gateway uh, we want to expose the s3 okay basically when you select s3 you will see different basically two types of like the endpoints gateway and interface what we discussed in the start of the session but we want to create the gateway endpoints so let's select that and basically you will see this gateway uh, for s3 and dynamodb table only otherwise you will see interface uh, all the time for all services okay so we want to create the gateway endpoint and we have the vpc here okay as i said like we have to add a route to our uh, subnet from where you want to generate the uh, request to s3 bucket so basically we want to route it from the private instances so i'll select the private subnet and basically the, what it is saying is the source address will uh, the source address uh, whenever we are connecting to the uh, s3 service uh, it is the private ip address will be used of the source uh, where basically uh, where it's generating from okay so it will use the private ip address not the public uh, not the public ip address okay so we have selected the route table uh, private okay basically here you can restrict again uh, who can access this gateway endpoint and all because in a private subnet you can have multiple instances but if you don't want to give access to all subnets uh, you can you can um, basically restrict it or if you want to give it to a specific user account service you can restrict it since it is a demo purpose i'm uh, leaving the default which is full access okay uh let's add one more tag here for my own benefit let's create the endpoint okay uh it is available and 
okay where it is uh, which route table it is associated with this is the route table let's jump to here and uh, see what we have got here ideally i should okay yeah you can see uh, here i have got one uh, uh, route vpc endpoint route okay uh, which is nothing but our uh, by default it is added by aws uh, since at the time of creation of gateway endpoint we selected vpc and the route table and that in that route table they have added the route okay okay basically you can see here we cannot do any changes with the route basically if i want to uh, remove this i i cannot uh, do that because it is managed by the uh, aws okay so when you delete the or uh, de-associate uh, that gateway endpoint from this route table this route will uh, the route they have added will will automatically go okay okay uh, so we have got a gateway endpoint let's jump here again in our private ec2 instance we are already in 4496 let's do this oh okay we are able to access now s3 bucket okay and uh, what is the reason because of the gateway endpoint so how this time the routes are you know uh, going to the s3 bucket is from the second diagram uh, access through the gateway endpoint so we are in private subnet we have added uh, the route table we have basically updated the route table of private subnet and added a gateway endpoint so whenever you access the s3 bucket from the private ec2 instance it will go here and go uh, to the uh, s3 bucket okay guys uh, hopefully uh, this this video again uh, is is uh, helpful to you uh, and um, hopefully uh, i have cleared your doubts on how to create the gateway endpoint for uh, s3 bucket and how to access uh, it from the uh, private ec2 instance okay uh, please subscribe to my channel and and uh, uh, please show your support by subscribing uh, to uh, subscribing my channel uh, please leave your comments and like my videos uh, i'll keep on adding these videos uh, uh, probably every week uh, and probably these videos are mostly on the uh, on the troubleshooting part rather than the uh, detailing uh, the services it will be mostly on like a demo and troubleshooting videos okay thanks guys thanks for uh, uh, watching my videos